Let's find my place in this Google map. It should be somewhere in Karachi. Yeah, here it is. I'm sitting over here. <laughs> Hi friends, I'm Adafta from Easy Approach and in this video, I'm going to discuss how we can integrate Google Map in our Flutter application and we will cover some basics of Google Map in Flutter. So the very first thing that we need to do in order to integrate Google Map in our Flutter application, we need to go on console.cloud.google.com and here we have to make a new project. So you can make the new project by going here. And just give some name like Flutter Map. Anything you want. And this would create you the new project. So now just uh, go on this uh, newly created project. You can uh, go from here. So this is the project I've just made. Now you have to go in Google map so you can find the Google map in this left panel right at the bottom. Here it is. So just click it. And as we are doing uh, it for Android, so you have to click map SDK for Android and you have to enable this option. So this would enable this API and then we can integrate it with our Flutter application. Now after enabling this API, we need to get the key for the API so that we can use this. So for getting the key, you have to go, you have to open this left panel and in the APIs and service, you can find credentials. So you have to open this. Now for creating the credentials, you have to go here. So just choose API key. And this would create you the API key. You can just uh, close it. So here's the key. And now we will use this key in Android manifest file. So what we have to actually do, uh, there is some code, uh, which is this code, and we have to paste this code in Android manifest file. And we have to place this key in place of this. So we have to place this key that we have just generated and we have to paste it here. So just copy this whole code and open the project again. And now let's open the project explorer and you have to go inside the Android in the app and inside the main, you can find the Android manifest file. And what you have to do inside the application, you can just paste this code. And the key that we have got from here, we have to paste this key in place of this thing. So this is what we have to do at the native level. And now we can close this native file. Now let's uh, run this application again so that uh, it refreshes everything. So the application is restarted and now we have to install the plugin uh, for Google Map support in our Flutter application. So you can go on pop.dev and you can search Google Maps Flutter and in the installation tab you can find this dependency that you need to add in your pubspec.yaml file. So, so just go in pubspec.yml file after corporate, you know, icon, you can paste this and then you can click on packages get. So this would install the package and then you can use this. So just close this. And now we are good to use the Google map plugin in our Flutter application. So there's, there are two steps that we have done. The first one is we have registered, we have login in the, in the account of Google uh, cloud and we get we enable the api of google map and then we get the key we paste the key in the manifest and after all we added the dependency of google map plugin so that's all we need to do now let's use the google map widget uh, for the application so it's from the plugin that we have added 
so just write here google map and there are at least one property uh, that's mandatory to define which is the initial camera position so we firstly need to define the initial camera position so for this write final camera position and give any name like initial position and you have to initialize it so inside the camera position you have to give the target which is the latitude and long longitude coordinates actually so I have got my coordinates from Google Maps so you can use your own so that's my coordinates So you can just paste it and this is how you can make the camera position object and now we can give this uh, to this initial camera position and there's one more property that's better to define which is the map type so you can specify the map type you want so there are few map types this uh, the none and the hybrid normal satellite so for now I'm using the normal So these are the properties that's actually essential uh, so we can do a lot a lot of more things with this Google map but these are the essential properties so now let's uh, run this application I think it's better to restart the application so close the application and now restart it So you can see now it's showing the Google map. Now let's do some fun with this Google map. Now say I want to move the camera on the place where I tap, uh, like uh, if I tap here, it should move the camera to this, something like this. So for this, uh, to play with the camera, we need to associate the Google map controller with the Google map so that we can control the Google map. So for this, first uh, create a Google map controller. And let's give some name or we don't have to initialize it for now and for initializing it what we need to do when the map is created it returns the Google map controller so we can do one thing inside the set state we can assign our controller which is global by the controller given by this on map created so this is how you can associate the controller and now there is a callback which is on tab and that returns the longitude and latitude uh, position coordinates uh, on the place where the user has been tapped Or the user has tapped actually so you can give any name here these are the coordinates on which the user has tapped and now what we can do uh, we have the controller so we can use animate camera and inside the animate camera we can use camera update dot new latitude and longitude so here you just have to pass the coordinate that that is returned by the callback uh, it's actually the coordinate that's on on which the user has tapped now uh, let's uh, run this application again sorry we have to restart the application I don't know why it never worked for me but let's restart the application
now the application is restarted so now let's uh, zoom the camera so that we can see uh, the camera moving smoothly when we tap on some place now say if I want to tap on this Tajikistan it should move the camera position to this so you can see the camera is moving now let's tap on some other position like here so you can see the camera is moving it's just because of this code now let's say if I want to I can zoom in uh, still if I double tap on the camera uh, the camera is zoomed in now let's say if I want to zoom out uh, when the user would tap on this uh, floating action button so what we can do inside the on press we can use the controller for zoom out animate camera and in the camera update we have uh, the zoom out so we can choose this and let's uh, refresh the application now uh, let's first zoom in and now, now let's click on this uh, floating action button it should zoom out a bit so you can see the zoom out button is working so you can zoom in by tapping double and you can zoom out by using this floating action button so we can do a lot of different things with this controller and the last thing that we are going to do in this uh, video tutorial is adding the markers on some particular place now say if I want to mark this place where I tap so for this what we have to do now let's see how we can do this so first of all we have to make a list of markers so you can make it final list of marker and you have to give the name of uh, this list as well and initially uh, it's just empty and now we can associate this list with this Google map so as you can see we have to give this in set so what we can do we can convert the list of map the list of marker into the set of marker so you can do it by using to set so this is just the empty uh, list or the empty set now what we have to do whenever the user would tap on some particular place we have to add that marker in this in in the list of this markers for this let's uh, make some function so I'm making a function add marker and the marker would take uh, the longitude and latitude object so you just give here coordinate and what we have to do inside the set state we have uh, to add in the list of markers a new marker so this coordinate would be given would would we get we, we would get from uh, this callback on tap so we can use this coordinate we will pass this coordinate in this and then we can make the marker of this coordinate so you can do it by using position and you have to give here coordinate and the second thing is you have to define the marker ID so what I am doing I am making a unique marker ID so it should be string for now what I'm doing ID equals to I'm creating a random number and now we can define here the maximum number so let's take it 100 and you can give here the ID and you have to convert it 
in a string. Sorry, we have to give it inside the marker ID object. So let's make a marker ID object. And inside it, you have to give the string ID. So that's all we have to do. And now we can call this function inside this. So just uh, call add marker and you have to pass the coordinate. So it's exactly the same name. So you don't have to worry about the name. Now let's uh, run the application again. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm closing the application and restarting the application. So now the application is restarted. And now let's uh, zoom in a bit. So that we can place marker on some particular place and see it properly. Now let's say if I want to mark the quota. So what we can do just we have to tap. And you can see it. It's now showing the marker here. Now let's uh, add marker in different place say I want to I want to add marker in my city which is Karachi here it is so for this just tap here and it's doing two things the first one it's moving the camera and the second one it's adding the marker and the third thing that we have done in this video is zoom out thing so this is it from this video in this video we have learned how to integrate the mark how to integrate the Google map and how we can how we can use the basics of google map so this is it from this video if you like the video give a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel and share the videos with those who want to learn further with easy approach and i pray every one of you be safe from the coronavirus and i hope we would overcome this soon thank you for watching